Three, two, one. Welcome to Antimatters. Previously on Mesa Barbarous. Little bit of salt man and a really nice healthy pair of queens. We're going to start today with the redhead and last time she had about six eggs. Now, whoa. Her brood pile has grown considerably and she's doing amazing. I'm surprised that she's got any mass left on her. Feeding all these babies must be taking up a lot of her energy. She's still a thick old girl though. Ever seen a mess of Barbara's jump? Looks like this little girl got a bit of a shock. <laughs> Let's watch it again in slow-mo. She actually properly jumps. I think all four legs are off the floor. Well, maybe not her back ones, but... <laughs> it's as close as a jump as I think you... Uh, what you'll get out of a mess of Barbarous. She's got a nice pile of brood though. She's got plenty of eggs. I don't even know where she gets the energy for from. Excellent. And she has a super special first pupae. You can make it out just next to the eggs with its little black eyes. I can't wait to get the first worker. In anticipation, I think I'm going to give them an upgrade. This girl has been doing a really, really good job at keeping all of the brood healthy. And, yeah, as I keep saying, I don't know where she gets all the food from because there's so much. I can't wait until the worker arrives though because then they can start doing work on the seeds that I crush. And hopefully it'll put them in overdrive. I love the sheen on her gaster as well here. Eh? It's like diesel tint. She's a real beaut. So I'm going to chuck her into a satin limited edition Ancon 2023 one. This. Ooh. this means I can easily feed the new worker loads of little bits of seed when hopefully it arrives dead soon. Let's get on to the other queen though. She was doing alright last time. She had about the same amount of eggs as the first queen. She's quite a pretty little girl in her own way. Now though, she's a bit hanging I think. She definitely needs some paracetamol. I think she's overheard everyone saying that, oh, Messers die a lot in founding and she's decided to party it up as she won't be living very long and she wants to make the most of it. She also has some little mites inside of her tube. These are soil mites, I believe. They come out of my leaf cutter um, outworld. And I'm not too worried about them, but maybe they are being a bit of a nuisance because she's doing pretty lousy at the minute. I'm not too worried, though. I think the mites got in through the end caps because they, they got little holes in them for air. And I think, though, I might use um, cotton wool in future instead. Anyway, they're both sitting in the incubator at a nice warm temperature. I've decided to put them up high as well so no mites that are running around on the floor will hopefully be able to get up there. So I'll definitely bring you all an update when that first worker arrives because I can't wait to see it. Until next time though, thanks for watching, have a fabulous week, may your ants live long and prosper and bye!